we found a great new product for skirting your RV and we even temperature tested at the end of the video so stick around folks you're going to want to check this out. Hi everybody, Mike from RV Blogger here in front of the camera and Susan's behind the camera and today we're going to be taking a look at a brand new product that we found called Air Skirts and this is a new way to skirt your RV so whether you're a full-time RVer or you camp in extreme temperatures or you just want to extend your camping season this is a great product because skirting your RV can help you stay cooler in the summertime and also warmer in the winter time. So for those of you guys who don't know, there are many different types of air skirts that are out there on the market. There's the DIY type where you install it yourself. You might buy like foam board or some kind of material, tape it, snap it, somehow get it onto your RV in place. Then there are the commercial um, nicer PVC brands that are out there and you have to drill a million holes in your RV and you can snap it in place but it looks nice and neat but there are several problems with either one of these systems first of all um, neither one of them has any insulation value built into it it's just a piece of material or maybe that foam board would work but you know it's kind of hard to get that taped in place so you don't have a lot of air coming through it so it's not very insulative um, it's very difficult to attach it to the ground so the wind doesn't blow it all over the place. And then when you have obstructions on your RV, like you know the tongue of a travel trailer where you have to get under that, you end up with a big gap. Um, same thing in other areas of your RV. We have a, a tow hitch on the back. That's a problem spot where when you go to run your skirt material, it would have to go under the hitch and then it creates a big air gap. So. Anyway, uh, that's a basic rundown on the types of skirts that are out there on the market. We just got our product delivered today. We're gonna unbox it, and then you're gonna see us install it around our RV for the very, very first time. So I'm sure it won't go great, but we'll do our best. You'll get to see how easy it is or how hard it is to install, but I guess we'll find out one way or the other. Hey guys, if you've seen us before on YouTube, welcome back to our channel. We sure are glad you're here to see us again. And if this is your first time seeing us on YouTube, welcome aboard. We're very, very happy to have you here where we create videos all the time about RVing. We also have our website called rvblogger.com where we literally have hundreds and hundreds of articles all about RVing. And if that's not enough, we also have our super fantastic Facebook group called RV Camping for Newbies. We hope you'll join in on the fun and learn all about RVing from your fellow RVers as well. But now, let's get started unboxing our brand new air skirt and get it installed. So we're conducting a little test to see how quickly our RV cools down without air skirts on and then with the air skirts installed. So right now, we don't have any skirting on our RV. As you can see, the interior temperature at 1.10 p.m. is 70 degrees inside our RV. We've turned off the heat now. And outside, it's a nice cool 34 degrees. The numbers on this side are the humidity, so don't pay attention to them. So we have 34 degrees outside, 70 degrees inside. We're gonna see how quickly the temperature inside the RV drops over time with no skirting installed. And then we'll compare that. We'll warm the RV back up to 70 once we have our skirting installed and we'll see how quickly the temperature drops and compare the two. Okay, so as you can see, we have all of our inflatable tubes laid out on the ground here. And um, unfortunately, there's no diagram that comes with them all that shows you exactly which tubes go where, but I think we'll be able to pretty quickly figure out where they go. And the whole idea is that we just wanna lay the tubes out around the RV to create a perimeter and then once we have that done, we'll go ahead and blow up each individual tube. So if you guys have seen some of our other YouTube videos or read some of our other blog articles, you know that Susan and I pride ourselves in how quickly we can get set up when we get to a campsite. And so blowing up these air skirts is no different. I look at it as a big challenge to see how quickly we can figure out where they go and then how fast can we actually get them all blown up, how long it's gonna take us to do it. Um, in fact, if you've seen our other video about how to set up your RV, in fact, we'll put it up right up here so you can check it out. We kind of go through the whole setup process. 
which we can do in like 15 minutes. Um, but anyway, it'll show you a very good representation of how we set up our whole campsite. But right now, I've got my phone out, I got my stopwatch set, I'm going to push start, and then I'm just going to go crazy and figure out where they go and get them all blown up as fast as I can and we'll see how long it takes. So ready, set, go. All right, so all my tubes are laid out, so I'm gonna start blowing them up as fast as I can. Okay, so I have them all inflated and everything's tight everywhere except for this one spot right here. So all I need to do is deflate this one tube a little bit, scooch it into position, and then inflate it a little bit and I'm done. So to deflate my tube a little bit, because sometimes when you go around and you're blowing them up, you do over inflate them a little bit, but it's very easy to let some air out. All you do is open up the cap and just push this little pin right here. And that'll let enough air out that I can just go ahead and scooch it around a little bit. And then I can attach my uh, pump back up to it and, and reinflate it. But I'm nice and tight on this side. It's just that one little corner where we didn't get tight. That was it. It's adjusted. <laughs> so now I'll reinflate it and we should be good to go. All right, that's it. Let's see what our time is. All right, 14 minutes, 55 seconds. So I'll hit stop. So in less than 15 minutes, we were able to lay out our tubes, not really knowing exactly where they go, pretty quickly figure out how to put them around the perimeter, get them blown up, and that's it. I'm done. I mean, I'm done. I can put my pump away, everything's adjusted, and Susan will walk around and get some video of it, but uh, pretty impressive. You know, in um, the video on the Air Skirts website that Jim Phelan made, the owner of Air Skirts, he said you can set them up in 15 minutes. I didn't believe it, that's why I wanted to run the timer, but sure enough, it was a piece of cake. So anyway, um, I imagine uh, deflating them will be just as easy. Uh, but we'll run through that routine as well later on and we'll get that on video too because We want to shoot how easy they are to deflate and then we want to see if they fit in the carry case or not um, I'm you know, I hope they do. I guess we'll find out. All right So here we are about an hour later an hour and one minute later when we first started Tracking the temperature in here. It was 33 degrees outside and 70 inside and you can see in one hour it's gone two degrees up outside but inside we've gone down 12 degrees in one hour so now with the air skirts installed we're going to go ahead and crank the temperature back up to 70 degrees in here and then we'll see how long it takes in an hour how much our temperature drops down all right, so we have our air skirts fully inflated all around the perimeter of our RV. We came back inside, turned up the heat to 70 degrees inside. Temperature outside is 34, it's 315. So we'll wait one hour and we'll see how far the temperature drops in that one hour. All right, so it's been one hour since we have inflated our air skirts and then we crank the temperature in here back up to 70 degrees. And I'll tell you what, a couple things have changed. Number one, 
we have below freezing temperatures outside and the wind has really picked up. But as you can see, it's 30 degrees out there now and our temperature inside our RV has only gone down to 65 degrees. So in one hour with the air skirts installed, our temperature inside our RV has only gone down five degrees. And it's colder outside and windier than it was when we did the first hour with no air skirts, where it went down 12 degrees. So I don't know, we're not you know super highly scientific or anything, but we tried to make all things equal. And um, it looks like the air skirts really work really, really well. All right. so. We have uh, temperature tested everything, and I would say it's been a great success. Air skirts definitely make a difference in terms of maintaining your temperature inside your RV, and you know that test worked out great. So anyway, in order to deflate all the tubes, very simple, you just disconnect the hose, plug it in the opposite end, and then it'll suck air out of the tubes and um, we'll see how long that takes, but I imagine it'll go pretty quick. The real trick is gonna be if all of the tubes fit in the carrying case. So we'll deflate, squeeze them all in there and see how it goes. All right, last piece going in. It looks like they're gonna fit. I can't believe it. This never happens. <laughs> so I sure didn't think it was gonna happen this time. We still have room to get the pump inside too. Piece of cake. There you go. I do have to say deflating them isn't hard, but folding them up is hard. And especially when it's like 30 degrees outside, that PVC is, you know, not very, pliable so it's hard to fold them up but they fold up okay you might have to put some pressure on them to get them to fold all right guys so that was not bad at all susan and i thought we were going to install it together and we were planning on putting our camera on a tripod so that we could shoot ourselves installing it but it's too windy outside it kept blowing the camera so i had to do it all by myself so even if you're a solo rver um, this product would work fine for you because uh, as you could see I installed the whole thing myself Susan couldn't help because she had to hold the camera so piece of cake also um, there's a five-year warranty on it so that's really really terrific and Jim Fallon the owner of the company is a lives in Connecticut this is a family-owned business they stand behind their product they have a 30-day no questions asked money-back guarantee so if you're not happy with it for any reason, you can return it in the 30-day period. Now, we've looked at some other skirting out there and um, especially some of the commercial skirting that you can buy. And air skirts is definitely a much better price than what you'll find out there on the market. Now, prices do vary based on the size and style of RV that you have, but they, Jim can make skirts that will fit fifth wheels, travel trailers, and even our Class C RV, he can also make them that will fit Class A RVs as well. So they fit a wide variety of products. And in addition to that, there are also other components that you can purchase. So if you have a travel trailer or a fifth wheel that has dual axles on the back, there are little triangle shaped pillows that you can buy that fit in between the tires so that you can seal up those places. Also some travel trailers like Airstreams have the steps that come out. So when you run your um, inflatable pontoon under the stairs, it, you know, it kind of creates an air gap and, and he, you can buy a separate air pillow to fill that gap, for example, under the stairs. So he has all the additional components available that you would ever need. And it already comes standard with uh, the carry case that we showed earlier in the video and the pump and it also has a couple of repair patches just in case you would ever need those. Now I actually have what's called a personal pontoon boat that I use to go floating down rivers when I'm fishing and that thing has the same kind of PVC pontoons that we used on our RV here today and I've dragged that thing over rocks. I've had my boat for gosh 10 years now and I've never popped a hole in it and these um, 
pontoons, the PVC is even stronger or thicker than what I have on my fishing pontoon boat. So um, they're very, very durable. You know, it, it would take a lot to pop them, I think. One of the skirts I actually inflated so much it started to lift the RV. So I let a little air out of it, but it didn't hurt the pontoon at all. That's the deal with the air skirts. I, we really think it's a great product. Um, and we have a link in the show notes down below. You can go to airskirts.com. You can use our discount code RV Blogger, and that'll save you $100 on the cost of air skirts in your RV. So if you're looking for a way to camp in the winter and keep yourself warmer, camp in the summer, keep yourself cooler, or just extend your camping season, air skirts are fantastic. They're easy to set up, easy to deflate, easy to put away, and very, very quick as well. So we hope you'll check them out. And speaking of check it out, if you'd like to check out some of our other videos, just click in one of these boxes right over here and you'll be able to check out one of our other videos. Please remember to subscribe to the RV Blogger channel when you do and hit the notification bell so that you'll be notified every week when we put out a brand new video. So for Mike and Susan, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.